and this is our problem statement there is an inner cylinder which is stationary whereas the outer cylinder is rotating with the constant angular velocity and then there is a gap in between both the cylinders and we have to determine the velocity distribution of the fluid in between this gap then these are the assumptions which we have taken for our problem and the angular velocity is uh, 2 per second so let's start with the ANSYS fluent drag a new project rename the new project you may name any uh, name which you like select 2D geometry type and open new design modeler geometry select XY plane and then in sketching draw two circles of different diameters both of these circles must be concentric and for dimensions select uh, both of the circles select units in centimeters insert D1 as 10 centimeter and the diameter for the second circle as 20 centimeter then zoom it now create surfaces from sketches from the concept select both of these circles as base object and then generate and here it is the finally generated surface now move towards the mesh open new mesh then generate mesh as randomly oh, the mesh is very coarse so insert sizing select the inner edge and give number of divisions equal to 150 select the behavior as hard and update now again insert sizing for outer circle select the outer edge and insert number of divisions equal to 150 here the number of division for both circles must be same select the behavior as hard and update the mesh
we may opt relevant center in the sizing section relevant center uh, as fine so that mesh in the center must be fine update the mesh and see how the mesh looks it's quite fine we can also introduce face meshing for more structured mesh select the face and apply and update the mesh see the mesh now we can see that the mesh is very structured now name the inner circle as inner cylinder and similarly name the outer circle as outer cylinder and then save the project you can also save the project in the initial state now update the mesh and open the setup enable the double precision click ok and wait for the setup to be opened here it is our case so solver is pressure based and the problem is steady state and planar the models are ok and in materials import water liquid from fluent database scroll down and select water liquid copy water liquid and close it change and create the water liquid and close it we can see that water liquid is present in the materials so now the cell zone conditions change the cell zone condition of material and select water liquid in the cell zone condition now the boundary conditions as the inner cylinder is stationary we can see that the wall motion must be stationary wall and then the outer cylinder is rotating so select the moving wall from wall motion and select the rotational velocity and plug the value of rotational speed as 2 radian per second and click ok and then in the solution methods select the coupled scheme for the pressure velocity coupling and then initialize the solution we can see in the console that the hybrid initialization is done now run the calculations for 500 number of iterations randomly and calculate the solution now wait for the solution to be converged so here it is the solution is converged uh, after 245 iterations now in results in graphics let's plot the contours of velocity 
select the contours of velocity enable or check the field option and display we can see that uh, at the inner cylinder the velocity is minimum whereas at the outer cylinder the velocity is maximum let's now plot the velocity profile select the xy plot select the velocity from y axis function create a new line define its coordinates so line 3 has been created plot the velocity function on that line 3 and also select the plot direction it must be one in y direction so here we can see that the velocity profile is parabolic in nature and it is increasing with the position so shown by the xy plot that as we move away from the stationary wall or the stationary cylinder velocity increases and the maximum velocity exists at the wall of rotating cylinder so this was our tutorial we hope that you have enjoyed and learned from this tutorial if you have liked this video then please don't forget to subscribe the channel for more exclusive contents thanks